A private jet is the most blatant and prominent display of wealth if you want to announce your arrival with a bang. Nothing beats flying in your own personal Boeing or Airbus and having the red carpet rolled out for your exit. It's probably out of the ordinary for you, but for billionaires like Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk, crazy purchases are a part of their regular lives. When you make $149,000 a minute, like the Amazon founder does, you can drop insane amounts of cash on luxurious private jets and have enough left over to buy a couple more. Today, we're going to take a look at some of the insane private jets owned by some of the wealthiest billionaires in the world. Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you're notified every time we upload a video on Stefo. Number 5, Mark Cuban. Entrepreneur, TV personality, and investor, Mark Cuban is known as being the co-owner of the Dallas Mavericks, founder of Broadcast.com, and inventor of 11 patent families. In his show Shark Tank alone, he has invested in 84 deals across its 111 episodes, with a total net worth of over $19 million in investments. With a portfolio that extensive, he has deserved to treat himself a little. Speaking to Business Insider, he revealed that owning a private plane has been his all-time goal because it helped him save time. He actually owns three jets. The first one broke a few records. It's a Gulfstream V worth $40 million. It first came out in 1995 and is a long-range, large business jet capable of flying at the height of 51,000 feet. The engines are Rolls-Royce with increased thrust and higher bypass ratio. Technicalities aside, this jet could really just be a palace in the sky. What sets the Gulfstream V apart from every other business jet is its smart and often hidden details. The curves and infusion of natural light make it a welcoming and almost sensual space. Everything from the bulkheads to the seats and carpets have a gentle S-curve, and the floors are dressed in a planked walnut with black ebony accents. The galley features Casablanca marble and a leather-covered lounge, all washed in soft lighting to give you the feeling that you're in a luxury hotel. Of course, the best feature of any private jet is the bedroom. The Gulfstream bedroom has its own in suite and a bed that can go from sitting to sleeping for up to a week. During the day, you can see the veranda side and the viewing counter at the end of the bedroom. After splurging $40 million on a purchase, Cuban also ventured to buy two other jets, a Boeing 757 solely for the Dallas Mavericks and a 767 which he rents out for chartered flights. His NBA team typically flies 600 hours a year. If you're doing that amount of traveling and flying commercial in a country you're in a luxury home, you need to be prepared. Cuban paid $65 million for a jet that provides them with everything. There's a treatment room for recovering from particularly grueling training sessions or games, special rooms for conferences and coaching, oversized seats that are made for people taller than 7 feet, a weight room, and much more. He isn't about to give the full details of his jet away, just in case any competitors are listening. Number 4, Bill Gates. Microsoft founder and CEO Bill Gates owning a jet is hardly a surprise. Worth $120.1 billion, Gates indulges in very few billionaire purchases and mostly leads a humble life away from the public eye. But when he spends, he spends big. Gates is the proud owner of not one, not two, not three, but four private planes. This includes two Gulfstream 6650ERs and two Bombardier Challengers, plus some helicopters and a Cessna seaplane. It might seem like a bit much for one person, but his jets are mainly used for work with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. The Gulfstreams are both twin-engine business jets with a list price of $70 million. It's basically the Rolls-Royce of business jets and can carry 11 to 18 passengers. He might be traveling for relief missions and aid, but the plane itself is an airborne retreat. Spacious interiors make you forget you're on a plane. There are four living areas to work, dine, entertain guests, and relax, catering to your every need. Handcrafted leather seats, and divans that convert into beds add to the cozy comfort of the Gulfstream. His Bombardier jets can seat 19 people comfortably, and they cost about $40 million each. It has one of the biggest cabins for business jets and can fly intercontinental ranges without refueling. The Bombardier has also been used in military, specifically by the UK Royal Air Force. Number 3, Richard Branson. Unlike Bill Gates, Sir Richard Branson is known for splurging on lavish toys like yachts and his 74-acre resort in Necker Island. 
He founded the Virgin Group in the 1970s, which today encompasses planes, spaceflight, media and entertainment, and phone service providers. You name it, he most likely sells it. When he's going on vacation, Branson obviously doesn't fly on his commercial planes. No, he owns a Dassault Falcon 50EX, which is solely for travel to and from his island in the British Virgin Islands. Other times on long-haul flights for business, he uses Virgin Airline planes so he can spend time with the staff and passengers. The Dassault Falcon 50EX is a high-performance, performance mid-sized private jet and it stands out with its low-swept wings. It seats up to nine passengers and the cabin features a divan, three closets for extra storage and a capacity for 2,205 pounds of luggage. After all, if you're traveling to a private island, you need to look your best for all the Instagram pictures. 14 windows provide tons of natural light to the cabin and a fully equipped galley allows for both hot and cold food prep. A significant change from its predecessors is that the Falcon 50EX has upgraded engines that provide increased range. It also lessens fuel burn and has an extended range of 3,528 nautical miles. Number 2, Elon Musk. Tesla may not have their own planes for some time now, but in the meantime, Elon Musk gets around on his own private Gulfstream G650ER worth $65 million. When he's bored of that, he has a second G550. He previously owned a Dassault Falcon 902, which he sold in 2016. The G550 can seat 17 passengers and all the seats can be reconfigured into beds. Its estimated cost is $14 million, but the final price after Musk refurbished it with his own custom furniture and fittings remains unknown. Understandably, Musk doesn't want to reveal it, but we can still appreciate the features that are known to the public. High thrust Rolls-Royce engines with an outstanding maximum payload, allowing you to either go for extravagant vacations or for a wilderness trip with all your camping gear. It executes perfect work-life design, and it's designed with beautiful craftsmanship across its four living areas and options. The G550 hasn't made any Tesla or SpaceX-related flights yet as far as we know, but the 650 frequently makes trips between California and Texas, where Elon Musk is looking to construct a private hotel with recreational facilities. With Tesla looking at building a new factory in Texas, these trips might get even more frequent. Good thing these jets have beds. And it seems the 650 is a popular choice Musk's rival in the spaceflight industry too has his own Gulfstream G650ER. Two of them, in fact. If you ever become a billionaire, you know which one to go for. Number 1, Google CEOs. The founders of Google, Sergey Brin and Larry Page, definitely cashed in big time with their search engine to have a net worth of more than $50 billion. They purchased their first plane in 2005, a Boeing 767-200 commercial liner, which cost them $15 million. They spent another $10 million converting this 180-seater into a lavish 50-seater plane with custom furniture and fittings. Fittingly called the Google Jet, it also includes two staterooms, a large lounge and dining area, and around 15 first-class style seats. There was apparently a fight between the two founders about what kind of bed to have in the bedrooms, a California king bed or a hammock. Eric Schmidt, the CEO of Google until 2011, played referee and told them they could each have any kind of bed they wanted in their bedrooms. They later bought more jets with Eric and own a total of eight private jets between them now. The fleet includes Gulfstreams, Boeings and Dassault planes. If you're going to shell out that much for jets, you might as well have your own terminal, which is precisely what they have. They purchased a whole terminal for $82 million. It's actually open for use by other businesses and executives in the Silicon Valley area. And these are the most incredible private jets of the world's wealthiest billionaires. Think of it that way. Are you thinking of buying one of them? Let us know which in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and check out others on the Stefo channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.